Hello everybody, Project Converter 1.2 is out and it has a cool new feature. You can now also transfer the clips in the scenes of the door project, so the clip launcher section in Bitwig, and create a arrangement from that automatically. What does it mean? So let's have a look at a simple Bitwig test project. So in there I have several scenes with clips in them. Let's give a listen. And as you see, there is nothing in the arrangement. The arrangement is empty. If you also take a look at the clips, they have different lengths in here. This clip has two bars. That one has eight. That one has seven, even more complicated. And they all play and loop together. And Bitwig has this function if you just pull that one over, they will create here arrangement section which has the same length. So all the loops are looped to the same length. And I thought, why not have that also for Reaper? So that we get all these scenes. Basically, I pull in each scene one after another, and this will be the result in Reaper. So let's check that out. Let's export a door project. So let's close that down. So here it is. And now let's open it in Project Converter. So here it is. By the way, we have a little bit new layout here. So I change the look and feel to the same thing I did to convert with MOS, my multi-sample converter. So we have now here the, the selection tabs on the left instead of the top. And the dark mode toggle is now here in the left corner and the main buttons were moved up here. So I think this looks a little bit nicer and it's easier to see what you have actually selected. So we have a source store project and we want to create a repo project. And you see there is a new options. So the default selection does the same as before. It converts the door project arrangement into a repo arrangement. But we have now this new setting that you can also say convert the scenes. And let's see what that does. Let's select the output folder here and let's create it. By the way, I did not yet implement envelopes of the clips in a scene because it's also a bit tricky. Maybe I will do that, but for the time you get this warning, but that's something you can ignore. It just means envelopes are not coming over for these clips. So let's have a look. So here is our created Reaper project and let's open that up. And you see it converted all the different scenes and even we get here range markers for the names of the scenes and they all have the correct length. So the length of the longest clip among the clips in this scene and this get rolled out so everything here comes across nicely. Big helper if you don't want to create the arrangement first in Bitwig, for example, and if you prefer to create the arrangement in a door like Reaper. But there's more you can do with it. As you might have noticed, I did not prevent before that you can create a door project into a door project or a Reaper to Reaper, which makes basically only sense for testing. But now door project to door project makes a sense because also here we have now the option to replace the arrangement in this door project file with the clip launcher clip. So it does basically the same what I did now in the Reaper project, but to the door project. So let's see what that does. I have here the same filterscape door project and also let's create it here in the output file and let's do its thing. And here we go. And now we can also close that down. And if you look here in the output file, we have here the new Filterscape door project. Let's open that up in Bitwig. By the way, I use 5.0.11 for testing because I noticed that the beta 6 has some regression bugs with door project. So it's safer to go with this for the time being. Yeah, and here in the output, we have now the new project and let's open it up. And you see it did the same what happened in Reaper. So let's do the listen. 
So this was rolled out nicely here in the arranger and could also be a little bit of time saver if you don't want to do the drag and drop thing. But the main intention of that is that you also can now use it in Studio One because Studio One can open door projects as well. But I noticed some issues there as well. But nevertheless, let's have a look for ourselves. So we have here Studio One. So let's open the door project file. And you see, let's first get in. there are some slight differences. So it seems that the Studio One currently is not interpreting the loops at all. So it does not loop this area here and also not here, but the other things are working nicely but I noticed it sounded a bit unsynchronized and it seems that also the play start is not taken into account. So normally this one should start. How can I move that? Oh my. Yeah, now I got it here. So normally it should start here, but it seems not to read this play start argument. I also reported these things and I hope that also this will improve. But nevertheless, it's an easy way to get over your clip launcher area also in Studio One. Yeah, so we have now access to the clip launcher in the direction of Studio One and in the direction of Reaper. Tell me what you do with it down in the comments and if you like it as well. And until next time, make some funky music.